Okay, this is December 27th, 2022. And this is the very last class of the, um, the Almond Dream Group class at Chinan University in the Department of Social Work. All the, all the students here are social workers. And um, Jenny's the first one. And um, Jenny, would you, um, would you like to say anything about what, what you learned in this class? Um, you, I know you, you feel you didn't get the meaning of your you did two dreams, and you didn't get the meaning of the second one even. But um, did you learn anything in this class? Was it beneficial to you, to your education, and how? Why are you looking at your cell phone? Because I got some note. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I really... Just try to say it without the notes. Say it from your heart. Doesn't matter if you're not perfect. I'm not going to grade you on this. Um, okay. The um, thing is, just to be honest, everybody, just say what you really feel. I, this morning I already made out the grades. All the grades are already made out. So it's not going to change it. This is just, this is so people in other parts of the world, I'm going to post this on YouTube. This is in here at Chinan University, you people, you nine people, this is the only class in the world. You know, one of the, one of the professors in your department criticized this class. And he said, you should, you should, um, <clears throat> In your syllabus, you should list the reading required for each, each day of class. <laughs> and I just ignored it because there's no reading required in this class. There, there's no reading. There are no exams. There are no lectures. Everything you learn, you learn from, from your dreams, if you learned anything. So did you learn anything from... Now, you didn't make sense of your dreams, you told us, but maybe from somebody else's dreams. Did you learn anything about dreams in this class? Did it do anything to you, this class? It's valuable. I think dream... Oh, I'm sorry, of... start with your Chinese, say your name, English name and your Chinese name, okay? Okay, and I am Jamie, and my Chinese name is Wu Zhenling. And what I learned from dream is, um, I think, like teacher always say, dream is intelligent and it knows something that you have known but you don't know you know. And so I have to think think hardly to figure out what the dream means. What dream wants to tell me. And yeah, I got some new idea. I, I, I kind of saw a new perspective of what things I'm going through. I was going through. It's, um, it's not just focus about my feeling, like I may feel angry or something about the things happen in my life but see more the other side like um, what I what deep inside of me really concern and what I really worry and what people um, because my dream is about me and my family so I could think more things about the relationship between us and um, why it gonna be like why the relationship between us could be like right now and um, maybe I don't have courage to change the situation but the dream yeah, it gave me some courage to change. 
Yes. Okay, now, um, could you be specific about the family situation? Your dream gave you some courage to change. Be, be specific, and what change? And um, how did the dream show this? How did the dream talk to you? How did the dream, what did the dream show you? And why were you able to understand the dream? What made you able to, what question did somebody ask you that made you able to understand the dream? Mm, I think it's very cool that uh, once I think more and connect to my life, the meaning just show up. Okay, that, that, that's an important point about dreams. If you connect it with your life, the meaning becomes apparent. Good. Go ahead, go ahead. And I think the situation is I'm not... I sometimes don't see my family, like my father, he's... Something he is mm, going through, something... Problems between us and I just don't want to see, don't want to... Um, give it a solution and ignore it so the dream it don't lie to ourselves it don't lie so I think that's the true feeling of myself but I always ignore so what you're saying is that you, you ignore certain things but your dream doesn't ignore it it expresses it, and it tells the truth. Why? Why does the dream tell the truth? Why doesn't it lie? Like, well, why doesn't it ignore it too, like you do? Why doesn't it follow your example? You don't have to know the answer. These are just questions. <laughs> I don't know the answer, but I think this is the uh, uh, most incredible incredible things of dreams. That's the truth. It is the most incredible thing of dreams. Mm -hmm. Because dreams are down there in the, in the deep part of us. And the deep part of all of us is true. It is true. And it, it does want to tell the truth. We'll see a dream later on with somebody where this comes out. But if you ignore it, the dream doesn't want to ignore it. <laughs> the dream expresses it. It's the back of your mind. And so you benefit from, from working, understanding the dream. That's what you're telling us, right? Mm. And it gave you courage to do something. Mm. Do you want to say what you did? Do you, or you don't have to. You don't have to answer any questions. But if you, do you want to, just for the viewers? Maybe I call my dad and talk to him. Him and I tell him that if you have something problem, you can you can tell me. I will help you like this. Exactly, exactly. And before you didn't really want to do it because, well, for, those are your own. And then you did it. Mm -hmm. So the dream changed your behavior. Then this is the key to what we're doing with dreams. You know, even if you don't understand dreams, lots of times dreams can change our behavior. Do you want to say anything else, or can we go to the next person? Okay, go to, go to the next person, person please. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay, this this here, this is Meta. Now, now, Jenny, everybody here, I think, is Taiwanese except for two people, and Meta is one of these two people. And let me, I always get the country wrong. Give me one second. You're from Indonesia. Yeah. Okay, so this is Meta, and say you're. Your Chinese name, and do you have an Indonesian name too, or no? My English name. Your English name, okay, Meta. Oh, Meta is your name. Okay, so tell us your, your names, and then tell us sort of what, what you learned from your dream. You, um, if, let me see, you, you got, um, was it one or two? Two dreams. You got two dreams, and you got both of them. Yeah. So uh, you did a good job in this class. So would you want to tell us what you learned, or what you discovered about dreams? Actually, in the beginning of this class, I never know that the dream can be such have the meaning. I never know that actually the dream has that deep meaning and tells ourselves 
it means uh, like teachers say the dream are uh, the dreams are from our inside from our heart so um, when I'm working on my dream in this class in the beginning I always don't know what it means like it's so like it so random like I don't know what it means but by step by step we we always try to to go deeper on the dream like and slowly the meaning has shown and when the when the meaning show I I think it really like uh, let myself like it really tells me what inside our what inside my mind um, and I think that yeah this is incredible. <laughs> Does it matter to know what's inside your mind? Uh, in reality, I often to ignore my mind. Like I'm too focused on my surrounding and not listening to what inside my heart, my my head, and my heart. Like that. This isn't just true for you. It's true for all of us. Yeah. Everybody in the world. Like and um, if people listen to their heart, or what's inside their mind, the world wouldn't be in this situation where it's in now, yeah. with the Russians bombing uh, Ukraine, and the, yeah. the communist China, mm -hmm. thinking about doing the same to Taiwan now, mm -hmm. and um, the Americans having gone through what they went through, all these countries, are, it seems like everything is crazy because people don't listen to what's inside their mind, but you got a chance to see it. And do you want to say anything about the two dreams, what you saw? Uh, okay, actually, from my two dreams, I think maybe it it's not a big problem, like, it's not that serious. No, it's not a big problem. Yeah, it's That's the thing, we can, dreams can talk about little problems too, yeah, yeah. and it can be important, you know? Yeah, yeah I think so too. Uh, because it teaches you that there's something inside you that knows more than you do, mm -hmm. even about little problems. Yeah. And then when a big problem comes along, you'll think, well, maybe I'll go inside and see what, what that something says about this. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's not big, but it has deep meaning that can, can, yeah, I think it has deep meaning. The, the deepest meaning of a dream is that it introduces us to the fact that we're deeper than we think. We're better than we think. Yeah. Anyway, I, I think you did a good job. Um, is there anything anything, um, anything else you want to say? Uh, I, I want to thank teacher and friends for helping me with my dream. And thanks for your stories to your dreams. I think it inspired me a lot. It uh, teach me a lot. I, I learned a lot from this class and I think in the future we will still work on our dream and thank you. That's you all. know, you, you're saying, first of all, you, you said several truths there that are so important. One is that we couldn't figure out a dream except that other people can, can help us. And so in a group it's so much easier than alone. Because you're alone, it doesn't make any sense. What can I do? This doesn't make any sense. But when other people contribute, it makes sense. And um, what was the other thing you said? The second thing you said about how the dream, or oh, that you you thank people for for the ideas they gave. Oh, and that you learn good the stories you heard from them. Yeah. You know, we come here. And you're coming from a foreign country, so these are foreign people, these are all Taiwanese. And they don't seem, you don't see behind the surface. You see the surface, but you don't see, but in the dream group you see behind the surface, behind the face, you see the person inside. And um, it's amazing, the, the stories, what people go through. 
that everybody else has the same, same situations we have and what they go through. And then you realize these are special people. Because when you see deeper into somebody, it's not like, oh, I see all the bad things. No. Well, if you go deeper, you find good things. The deeper part is the good part, the best part. A lot of people, especially a lot of pretty girls, think, oh, I'm so pretty. But what they don't know is what's more beautiful about them than their face or their body is what's inside their heart. And that's where the real, and in this class, you can see it. That's what you, is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's what I hear when you talk. Do you want to say anything more? Uh, no. Rush going there. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. And, um, you know, I made grades for all you people already because I thought I don't want to grade, but some of you, because what some of you are saying, automatic in my mind is I'm going to have to raise the grade a little higher. Because you people, when you speak up, I find out that you did much better than, than, than I thought, even. And this here, <laughs> hold, on. hold on one second. This is Kelly. Let me zero in on you, Kelly, because this thing is a little wobbly and I, I'm out of practice. Okay. Okay, Kelly. Okay. Hi. My name is Kelly and my Chinese name is Yu Fang Ru. And this semester, I joined the dream class group. And at the beginning of the class, I think it is not easy for me, especially the metaphor part. Because I think the metaphor part needs our logical ability and our imagination to figure out what metaphor of everyone's dream is. And after a week of practice and when it is time for me to share my dream, I found that I just don't know how and what let my body and my brain just know how to do and just like an instinct that told me how to do and I can see the dream so clearly uh, and out of my imagination yes and uh, at that time I really understand the teacher say uh, only the dreamers know what the dream is I really, wow, it is so true because I'm in a dreamer, so I only me, I can know the dream. Yes, and I think uh, this card is a, a magical process for me. Yes, and by this card, I saw so many uh, deep inside of mine, and, and it told our situation from the ankle that we never thought. So I learned a lot from this class. And maybe I can share about my dream. Please do. Yes, and I have two dreams. First one is about my family issue. Uh, my relationship with my mom. Uh, uh, my mom want me to lie to my father and actually this issue bothered me for about six years so long time and uh, before the dream i don't know this issue really bothered me because i i don't know it is a problem i just don't like my mother want me to do these things and after the dream I give myself a power to uh, deal with this problem so I plug out my courage try to communicate with my mom and although the consequence is not that good but I think it changed my mind because I do something for myself and I try to speak out to my mom tell her my, my feeling that I never so I think it is still a way to help me to through this situation. And another dream is about um, my situation at that time. 
and the dream is about really short dream. The dream is uh, show me a picture. The picture is a uh, like a white and spectacular castle. The whole dream I only see the picture. It, it is a really high and hard to close castle. And before the class, I don't know what it is meaningful. But after the, after the class, and everyone gave me some idea that I connected to my situation. Maybe this castle is about that I trap myself in that castle because I don't want anyone to get close to me. And it is the way that I protect myself. And I do believe it is my situation at that time. And I think it's a good way to remind me that myself is in that situation. Yes. You know, what imp I was really impressed with both of your dreams and your ability. You, you did start out, but you learned a lot during the course of the class. That's the important thing. It's not that what you know, I want the best people to come. It's what you learned during the course of the class. And you picked it up, became better and better at helping other people too, with their dreams. But um, you mentioned the magic. One, one thing I feel, one thing working with dreams teaches me, the magic is inside of us. It's not some, some, you know, some witch or some guru with a magic. The magic, the Harry Potter is inside us. It, it's not out there. And um, another thing that I, I got from your dream, you know, we can learn from other people's dream. And um, my mother also told lies. And... Um, it twisted my life. Her lies twisted my life. And you might say, why is, why is the tr truth so important? What is the damage? Like your mother wanted you to tell a lie. To, to, it was a, to your stepfather, right? Uh, my it, mother wanted me to lie to my father. Was he a real father? A real father. Oh, okay. And um, so you would think, well, what's, what's wrong with that? Why can't I do that? Well, the reason is, it's sort of like what, what Metta said about the deeper part. If you lie, you disconnect from your own deeper part, and you become a shallow person, like your mother. You know what I mean? Just living on the surface of life. Life is too rich. Life is too beautiful. Love is beautiful. Marriage, children, family, friends, education, nature. You know, it's such a beautiful thing to lie to ourselves, to disconnect from the deeper part of that connection with things. It hurts us, you know? And there comes a time where you have to, at least I did it in my life and you did it apparently in your life. The dream, because of the dream, you talked to your mother, you told us later. Yes. And um, when we worked with your second dream, you told us that. And that was very impressive. That the dream changes your behavior. And the difference between you when you're lying and the difference between you when you're telling the truth is that now you're more connected with what's powerful in you. And you'll be much more powerful as a social worker, as a lover, as a, as a, as a wife, as a mother, as a grandmother, <laughs> whatever, you know? Um, and so in, in a class like this, I, when I learned this process, it wasn't in a class. I learned it from Monte Yeoman himself. It, it, it gives you a future. It connects you with something bigger than yourself. And you go, oh, your life changes. That's happened to me, at least. Um, I, I felt that both dreams you did very good. Do you want to say anything else? Oh, oh, I want to share that my mother dream also gave me another important lesson that maybe I don't want to be like my mom <laughs> because of people that uh, control someone you love. I think it is really important to me that maybe my whole life will remember this notice, I think. You know, this is so important to learn. And the, um, I, I've been reading the books of, of this man, this English man, called Ian McGilchrist. And he's the, he's the, the Einstein of neuroscientists who study the brain. And the brain has two halves, the left side and the right side. They're very, they, they, they both help on everything we do, but they do it in very different ways. And it's almost like inside of you, there are two different people. Inside your mother, there are two different people. 
And one issue is that in modern society, we've, we've gone too far to the left side, which has to do with control. We want to control nature. You know, in China, she wants to control. There's one man, one little man, like me or you, little people. He wants to control, I don't know, I think there are three billion people in China. There are a lot of people. For one man to control so many people, well, Putin and Russia, well, for someone, to, for, for someone even to control another person. You talked about control, and you talked about love. The interesting thing is control is on the left side, and love is on the right side. And that's the thing. That's the thing, is not, not to let yourself be captivated by the left side, because it's the inferior side. You know, it, um, it's not the most important side. The most important side, the human side, is the right side. And um, so I, th I think what you learned is in line with what he says in his writing, that everybody needs to learn today if the world is going to survive. Because we're destroying the ocean. The fish may all die in a few decades. The, the weather has gotten stranger and stranger. And we just we destroy nature, the species are going extinct. It's not right what we're doing to the earth by controlling it, you know. Cut the forest and get the gold, you know what I mean? That's what's happening. And uh, the right side wants to protect the forest, protect the animals, protect the flowers. So I think what you what you what you learn from your dream is so important. And it means that as, as a social worker or a teacher or a mother, whatever you become, you're going to do good, <laughs> you know. So thank you very much. I'm really glad you joined this class. Your dream was special. And now we move on to another special person who unfortunately missed a, missed a lot of classes. You were sick, right? Yeah, I'm so sorry. So boring. Hold on, let me, let me focus on you. I've got to, do you feel better now or do you still feel bad? Uh, better now. <clears throat> okay, good. Now tell them your name and your um, your English name, Eva, and your Chinese name. Okay. Uh, hello, I'm Eva, and my Chinese chi Chinese name is Ye Chao Ying. Uh, first, I'm very happy uh, to able to join this class. And uh, 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 in this class, I only share one dream. Yeah. And that dream is about my 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 boyfriend's re relationship and my personal boundary and privacy. Yeah. Before before uh, to sharing the dream, I I I'm very um mm, I never know I'm I'm, I'm I, I have something my I, I need I need my some personal space and uh. And what? Uh, before that, I I always feel I'm the I'm the lovely and happy girl, and and to uh, want to uh, share and uh, love, love to, to 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 find a happy girl. Yes, but but uh, through the dream uh, analyst, I I. I see I have something my privacy in that and always in the reality I always reject it. And so I think through the dream and uh, it made me understand my my uh, some issue I have been avoided and what is my what what is my greatest fear. <coughs> um, and I know, although that's, uh, I, I know that uh, I may not be able to avoid a, uh, any, every, every, I don't want the issue, but the dream has made me know myself better. Yeah. Different from the general traditional teaching skill, uh, I think the dream class uh, it made me feel more confident and and 
and and it has some courage to express my idea and it's not only to and it's not only to improve my English ability but also uh, make me understand myself better yeah now you dream had to do with the relationship with money <laughs> no it's it's only my uh, it's only for my boyfriend's money issue, yes. Right, because he, he's, he was wasteful. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you feel that that's, if, that's not a trait that, to be wasteful. Yeah. It's, it's not like the same as being concerned with money, it's being wasteful. Mm -hmm. And if, if you waste money, you could waste a lot of other things too, right? Mm -hmm. And it made you see something you didn't, you didn't, you brought out something. Yeah. <laughs> did, did that benefit you at all? To have that brought up? I before the drink, I try to tell my boyfriend about that money, money, money. Yes, that's like hard, hard issue. Yes. So, but uh, I think that is my I think improvement. Improvement. Yes, I think that is improvement. So, yes, because I, I, I we, we are, we are, uh, we are so, um, we, we never have fight before, before that, yes, but I try my best to tell him what my actually think, yes, I think that is, is it true? <laughs> Okay. Do you want to say anything more or should I go to the next one? Mm, more is uh, thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, this is Vanessa. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm Vanessa and my Chinese name is called Deng Yujun. And I think the most important thing I learned from this class is that Every dream has a meaning. They are not, they are not just some illogical scenarios. They have a meaning, and um, I think it's very cool to figure out what your dream tries to tell you, and uh, um, it helps you realize how how you actually feel and what situation you are in right now, and it provides us a brand new point of view to see what's going on on ourselves. And uh, take myself for example. I remember I had shared like two dreams in this dream group, and I had uh, succeed finding out what they both mean. And and at the moment I I found myself I found myself figuring out the dream. I, I felt so excited. Yeah, that 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 that, that thing is very amazing. Yes. And uh, um, by by finding out the dreams meaning, I found myself. I found there's a brighter, a smarter me inside me. Yeah, and uh, I wanna thank everyone for helping me found that smarter me. Yes, I think that is amazing. Well, actually, you did three dreams. Three. Yeah, and you, two of them, you definitely got the meaning, and the third one really was, I, I felt you sort of got it, you know, but I wasn't exactly sure, so I put plus and minus at the same time. Oh, three, yes, three, yeah. Yeah, and you did a good job. And about being, being smart, if, if the inside is smarter than you, then that is a very smart inside, because the outside is smart as it is. And so... Um, yeah, I was glad to have you in the class. I was just sorry that you didn't come every time because um, we missed you when you weren't here, you know. And um, now, um, you said the dream tells you how you actually feel and it gives you a new point of view. Why is that important to you or to anybody? Um, otherwise, we might keep kept being stuck in, in how how I feel right now. Exactly. In other words, we would go through life being less than we really are. But when you discover what you really feel, you can go through life 
becoming who you are, really are, and have a richer life. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And, um, okay, I, you did very good. Okay? Okay. Come on, do you want to say more, or should I go to the next one? Next one, please. Okay, the next one, let me see if I have to twist around to, to make all this happen. The next one is Niban, and Niban is the other foreigner. I'm a foreigner too. I'm from America, but I'm, I'm not in the class. I'm the, the teacher. Niban is, is from um, Malaysia. Is that right? Because yes. yes. I always got that wrong. I always put you in Indonesia. And I, and I, oh, this is coming off. Hold on. Hold on, I'm going to find you again. I haven't used this camera for so long that I forgot how to operate it forever. So Neven, tell us your name and you have a, do you have a Chinese name? Yes. And you have a, do you have a, a Malayan name too? Yes. Tell us all your names. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, hello everyone, my name is Neven Ding Chang Hong. For, um, and my Chinese name is Ding, Ding Chang Hong. Okay. Um, in this semester for the Dream group, dream group lesson. I I think I try many fresh, fresh things. Like um, before I, I. Learn learning for the dream dream uh dream group class. I always don't like to face some um feeling and. Feeling and um and mind for ourselves. Face some feeling and what? And and uh, I don't like to face some feeling and my mind. The hmm. I. You saying you don't like before the class you didn't like to to acknowledge your feelings and what was on your mind. Is that what you're saying? No no no. Uh, uh, I don't want to face some, something like uh, the bad feeling and the bad mind. I didn't want to. I didn't want to face my negative feelings and my. And uh, uh, the negative feeling and negative mind. Okay. Okay. Feeling. Go ahead. And I always like to ignore them and like skip them. So, um, in a long time they will. Uh, save many, many more in my, in my, in my mind. So don't think I, I don't. What, what will happen? Say that again. I don't like to. So uh, I. I I don't like to face them. So uh, I. I always ignore ignore them. And ignore ignore them. Mm, so uh. When a. Long time. When uh. Yeah, long time. That uh, there will save many, many more in my mind to to control my emotion. Yeah, control my emotion and control my um, my my mind. So when I study in uh, and I study in the dream les uh, dream lesson, I I see everyone. Um, Try, try their best to face their dream, face their feeling, and they are thinking of of their um very of their mind. So I um I I also try to I I also try to face. Face the mind, the mind. So uh, even though I, I, I cannot tr face the negative mind and negative feeling, good. But I started to try. They also bring a. Uh, 
good uh, bring some good thing for me so I think this is a good good try and for the, uh, another is uh, in this lesson um, I I try to uh, say more uh, say more things because uh when my when I meet uh meet some when I face up uh someone I don't want to say and or I don't want to express I always keep quiet so uh when when I study for this lesson I see everyone um always try to try their best to say something that they, uh their thing or their feeling so I also will try. Mm, that's all. Um, okay, I, I because I, I I don't know I have a trouble understanding um <laughs> the English from um from, from Malaysia. But um, thank you very much. What, the thing is that um, we, we really have trouble facing our negative feelings a lot of time because they're not negative, they're just different than ours. Poor young. They're not bad, they're just different. And so when, when, when um, like these other people, when they found the meaning of the dream, they found a different feeling and they realized, oh, that is more me, that's more positive than the feeling I feel. So when we, we walk around with a negative feeling, but the dream brings up usually something positive, of power, of strength, of wisdom. Um, it's like you, make, you play basketball. If you make mistakes in basketball, some mistake, I don't know anything about basketball, but there's some mistakes you can make, and you have a dream about that mistake, and then you realize, oh, now I, I know how to do it right. Then you do it the right way. That's more like what dreams are about. Okay. I mean, if you're really doing something bad and your dream tells you, but still, that's positive because it means you're better than that. You know, you're better than the person who would do that. Anyway, thank you. Let me go to the next one. And this is Coco. Yes. And hold on, here he is. And Coco is from Taiwan, like everybody else and most other people here. Hold on, let me get you in focus. Okay, Coco. Yes, I'm Coco, and my Chinese name is also okay. Uh, I am the, I think I'm the first dream, dreamer in this group. Uh, and I'm the first leader in this group. So, I, when I'm the first dreamer, I was thinking, what, what, what dream can help me? <laughs> so, so, that I, I, I remember that I was say, oh my dream is, I think my dream is funny, and I have so many money in my dream. <clears throat> but when the group ends, I know, oh, the the, the dream can tell me uh, many things. Like I can pass the drive license or drive test or like. Uh, you guys have a relationship problem, family problem, or maybe boyfriend or girlfriend's problem. Uh, can a dream can tell us what really true or uh, the, the, the thing will what happen in the future? So what, what, <coughs> let me just interrupt a second. You dream, you your situation. You were the first one to share a dream. It was an interesting dream because your situation before the dream, the night before the dream, I asked you what were you thinking about the night before you dreamed, your last thoughts before you went to sleep, and I think you were thinking about a, a driving test you were going to take to get a license, a driving license, the next day or something like that. And, it, and you were thinking, I, if I'm, I may get this wrong because I may not remember right, you were thinking that there was going to be a problem with that, you know, you, you, you might fail that driving test. Yes. But as it turned out, and then you, you had a dream that night that you, um, you won a lottery or something. 
You got a ticket. Someone gave you a ticket, a winning ticket. And when we, it turned out that the next day, without knowing the meaning of the dream, you went to the driving test and you passed it. And when people were here and you f figured it out, the dream was telling you, you're not going to fail. You've got a winning ticket. And, and so in other words, the dream was telling you that you're better than you thought you were. And you're worrying about something you don't need to worry, something like that, right? Is that right? Did I got it right? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, my, and actually, I'm, like Peter says, uh, I can do many things in my uh, I have ability to deal with everything, or I can do anything. But I don't have uh, more confidence. Confidence. To, yes, to do this thing. Like the club or like the class, whatever class, and I was scared to do that or or like volleyball. I was I I'm also scared to 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 play the volleyball, but I can do better <coughs> in this thing. But I don't have uh, enough confidence to do that. And my dream, I think my dream always told me, you can you can do this, you can do this, and you can do this. But I'm not ready to try that. So this group let me know what really I can do or the dream is more powerful than I think. And you're more powerful than you thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this this co confidence issue. Notice how everybody here has a different thing they're saying about dreams. This, if, if, if I can say one thing that all the, I've been teaching this course many years now, and the one thing that people walk away with that, that, special is more confidence in themselves because they discover they're better than they thought and um, even though you went into the driving test it, the, the dream didn't tell you answers to the questions or how to not make mistakes but unconsciously you, you're a winner of the lottery in the dream you know what I mean and unconsciously you have to be boosted by a little bit of confidence to, and you do better, we do better at anything we do with confidence. If, if there's a pretty girl and you really like her, but you think, oh, I can't tell her because look at me. I'm not handsome and big and tall. She can't like me. But what if she does like you and you're the one she's liking? She's just waiting for you to come, but you don't have the confidence. I think many men have this problem sometimes. And um, the dream just tells you to be your true self. And if you're your true self, you show her you like, you like her, and then you find out a big surprise, a big positive surprise. And she likes you too, you know. It's something like that happens in life all the time, every day, everywhere, with all of us. And um, that's one reason I enjoy teaching this course, because everybody discovers they're better than what they thought. And they walk out with more confidence. And the truth is, we think all these things in the world are done by these great people, these famous people, these geniuses, or rich people, or powerful people, but it's not true. Every one of you is just as good as them, you know? And um, do you want to say anything else? I think you did a good job in the no. class and with the dream. Oh, no. okay. okay, next one. Okay, next one. <laughs> Those are the happiest words everybody says. Hold, hold on, let me get you in focus. Okay, tell them your name and uh, Jesse and your English name and your Chinese name and everything. And... Okay, uh, hi, uh, I'm Jesse and my Chinese name is uh, Liu Jiaxin. And I joined the dream group in this semester. Uh, in general, I have a great experience in dream group. And dream group is a good space for everyone, including me, to share uh, everything you want or you are willing to share. And 
the reason, the first reason I stay in a dream group is uh, I want to learn new things because I never heard the dream group before. So I think it is new for me. And during the dream group class, uh, first I felt a little bit depressed because I saw that uh, everyone has their own dreams but I don't have. And I uh, look forward that uh, I have a dream one day and I can share uh, in the class. And uh, at the time, I, I can share my dream in the class and uh, I knew that uh, my dream tells me uh, that uh, it wouldn't it, it would never be a shame to uh, tell everyone that uh, you need help or share your true feeling and uh, everyone they are kind and everyone is kind that uh, they are uh, willing to listen to my true feeling and give me their ideas and um, and it teaches me that a uh, drink um, shows my truly reflection and it is important to uh, listen to my heart and listen to myself and uh, if I need any help uh, it is a good and, and it is uh, important to speak up and uh, what I, and um, uh, although in the beginning I'm, I didn't um, show I didn't did a great job that uh, it sometimes it is difficult for me to uh, figuring out the mental force or or the feedback. But uh, but in the end, I think uh, I'm I'm uh, improve myself that I talk a lot in this class. And um, and uh, in the end, I want to thank for everyone that uh, give me uh, many. A uh, warm feedback that I felt that everyone it is kind hearted. Okay. <laughs> now you did actually did three dreams in the class. Yes. <laughs> but two of them were dreams when you took a nap or during the day or something like that. Yes. <laughs> the most recent one was um, let me see. The most recent one was uh, December sixth about the you took it you fell asleep inside of a van. Mm. On the way. On the way back from you were in, in, a, in a school, you were working in a school teaching. I think that's not my dream. <laughs> <coughs> uh, my dream is I took a nap during in the school during a break time. And I and I dreamed that I was in the classroom and I late for the dream girl class and I want to rush for the dream girl class but uh, I feel but uh, I feel bad and uh, and uh, my, and in the end I fell down. <laughs> I don't have a clear. Um... One second, okay? Just want to look at your dream. Actually, I only remember my second dream. I forgot my first. I know, I forgot. I forgot the last dream. <laughs> well, they were they were they weren't big dreams like other. They were small dreams, but you had more of them. Um, now, let me just ask you, I, I can't dig up any specifics about your dreams either, but you did three and you did a good job on all of them. What, what, um, why, why, why are dreams in metaphors? What, what, what is a met, why, the dream, we, we speak, you speak Chinese, you speak English, the dream speaks metaphor, pictures, why? Do, do you have any idea why? Dreams use metaphors to tell these people things that they don't know themselves about themselves. Uh, I think a dream shows a great power that when when the people don't want to face the situation, that which will make them feel bad or pull them down, and 
uh, when people hide their feelings in their hearts for for a long time or a period, uh, one day, uh, and one day when it shows up, uh, by the dream, and the dream uh, will give the people that uh, it is it is time for you to seek out the meaning or the metaphors by the dream. Why does a dream use metaphors to do that? Does anybody know why a dream uses metaphors? Mm. What's so special about a metaphor? Why doesn't it just say it in Chinese for you? Blah, 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 you know, tell you the truth. Why does it use a metaphor? Well, the reason is, is because the mind, I said the right brain is the creative part of our mind, and it's bigger than the left brain. And it's the right brain is the mind that little children have. And you see little children, the way they talk, the ideas they have are so special and magical because they think in metaphor. When they grow up, we take them to school, we train them in Chinese and what, you know, the logic and all that stuff. Metaphor is the language the mind uses to express something that it doesn't really understand. But it, it sees it, but it, 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 it can't say it logically because it's never been known before. It's new. Dream, every dream is something completely new. You had three dreams. Each time it was something new. We forgot what it was because it was something new, but small, but new. And um, I, I didn't have time to run through and, and review them all. And, um, and you forgot two of them. <laughs> but um, the metaphor is important because it teaches us something about ourselves that we can't know unless we look at the metaphor and, and get the feeling from it. I don't know if I explained it right. Anyway, do you want to say anything more? Uh, oh, uh, for my friends or my classmates who ask me uh, whether they should uh, join a dream group class or not, I say it is important that you need to find your motivation to join this class and you will have your own experience and own and you will get your things during the class mm. right you, you'll get something from it different than what i got yeah okay thank you very much now we're going to the very last person now um this person is um Hold on. Hold on. Tell us. Oh, you know what? I think I. Hold on. Should I turn it? I think I mixed up your dream. I think your dream is the one. Yes. If you can't remember everything in this class. This is um, this is Jasmine, and Jasmine told us at the beginning of the semester that the reason she took this class was to practice English. And so we made her the official reader of dreams, and she's the one that that read the English dreams, and. Um, do you, first of all, do, do you feel your, your English improved in this class? Uh, uh, I think I, I just can speak my English. Can, uh, I have a courage can speak. Oh, so in other words, your, your courage improved. Your courage to speak. Well, that's what, um, I think that's what Coco was talking about. The courage, dreams gives you courage. Yeah. Okay, now do you want to say what, because um, you, you did speak, in the beginning you wouldn't speak at all, but you did speak, and you, gave, you had a dream, and you found the meaning in your dream. Do you want to say, um, someone once said, she was a Chinese teacher, and she was in my dream group in Taichung, and she said, we first come to this group for the opportunity to practice English, 
That's the re reason we come. But the reason we stay is a much, because we discover something much more important than English in our dreams. Did, did you discover anything important in dreams? Uh, I don't think I can find the... Uh, okay, the dream is give me the power and uh, support me to do something I, I can't do, but I didn't know. I didn't know. I can't. Uh, the dream is give me the power and support me to solve the problem. And uh, I have uh, one dream, it's uh, about me, me and my friends. I dream that it, I, me, I am, me and my friends are, we are stuck in a traffic, traffic jam, and uh, they are fighting. And actually, in the real life, they are fighting too. And uh, the dream showed me the picture, and uh, I think it's a, a single to a single. What, what, what I, now I remember your dream, I'm looking at it here, and you, you have two friends, and uh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a man and a woman, yeah. and they, um, they have a relationship, but they're often fighting now, and you, yeah. you, um, and the dream dealt with this situation. What did the dream tell you? Your situation was, what, what, how, what am I going to do? They don't listen to me. I, I give them my, my advice. What am I going to do? What did the dream tell you? Uh, the dream tell, you, tell me this situation is their, is their problem. I don't, I don't do this for them. Exactly. In other words, this is their problem. It's not your problem. We, lots of times in life we think something's our problem when it's not our problem. You know what I mean? And to know it's not our problem sometimes is, is enough to know. Okay. Do you want to say anything more about the class, the dream class? No. Do you want to say anything about your, your improving English? Do you want to say anything about not wanting to talk? Do you want to say anything about not wanting to say anything? <laughs> This, this is the quiet Jasmine. No. No. <laughs> but that's okay. Anyway, you did figure out the dream. And you had your dream. This dream, you're the person all through the semester, no dream, no dream, no dream, no dream. But the final day, and I didn't even ask you for a dream. I gave up. And your friend, Jesse, was leading the group. And um, you came in with a dream, the final day. And you figured it out. It was an interesting dream. OK, that's it. Does anybody else want to say anything? OK, so I'm going to turn this off. And um, Jesse, let me ask you one last question. You led the group that, sol that solved her dream. Uh -huh. Could you say, did you learn anything by leading the dream group? Yeah. Yeah, in this class, I did different than other classes. I let the students lead, the, the better students lead the group. Each one lead a group. So that the latter part of the semester, the students were actually doing it instead of me, like as if I were needed. And it turns out the students did a job as good as me or better than me. Did you experience anything from leading the dream group, leading the dream group of um, the Jasmine's dream? Uh, I think I have a great experience for leading a dream group. And I think the most important for leading is you need to give the dreamer, you need to guide the dreamer and give the dreamer a space that uh, he or she can respond or share everything that she wants. Mm. And, uh, and I think the leader is not only helping but also a partner with the dreamer that uh, 
when Jima is sharing and the leader needs to uh, listen carefully about the response and you need to think about uh, what should I help her or guide her into the next step? The, 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 in other words, what should I ask her? Oh, <laughs> the two skills of a dream group leader are one, what, what Jesse said, to listen. Most people don't listen. They hear through their ideas. I think this, so, so that's what I'm seeing. But if you put your ideas out of the way, then you hear what the person's actually saying. It's a much, much deeper thing, especially important for social workers like you people. And the other one is to um, ask questions, to know how to ask questions. And the way to ask questions, when someone's doing a dream, you, do, you don't figure, well, I, I'm going to find out what this dream means. Let me ask them, you know. No, you follow them. And you, you follow where they're going, and then you ask them a question, then let them go further on their own. That's the way to ask a question in the dream group. Um, okay. Let me see. I, I think, Eva, you led, a, you led a, oh, Coco, you led a dream group. Did you learn anything from leading a dream group? Leading a dream group? Yeah. Uh, did, was it, did, was anyone say anything about your experience? Mm, you don't have to if you don't want to. I, uh, I think everyone is good when I'm leading. <laughs> In other words, the people did a good job. Yes. Yeah, okay, you. And uh, let me see, Eva's next. Where's Eva? There she is. Did you have an experience? You, you did get a good job leading a group. Do you want to say anything about leading? Um, I think this is, this is a, a big uh, tra challenge for me uh, to lead the uh, group. And uh, but I'm <laughs> although everyone is very 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 good job about this, but I think uh, uh, I am. Uh, just a little bit, maybe, yes. Um, Did you benefit from it at all? Yeah. In what way? Uh, because I think uh, it, it is uh, a little bit difficult to me. <laughs> to it's be. difficult to me. Yeah. Leading is very hard to do a good job. Uh, okay? Yeah. Could I go to the next person? Yes. Yeah. And the final person is Kelly. And Kelly, you were you were a very good leader. Do you want to say anything about leading the group? What kind of thing do you is that useful? Is it useful in this class for you to lead the group? Yes, I think it is really useful. And I have a really great dream Mesa. He she do a really great job. She did a very good job. Yes. Yeah. To have a good dreamer is, is really helps. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it is not easy to know how to guide people like uh, would you want to say more about something? It maybe you need some practice and skills. Exactly, you need practice to develop the skill. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I think it is a, a nice experience to uh, lead a dream group. Maybe I can lead a dream group in the future with my family or friends. That's the point. If you learn how to do this, if you have the experience once. You have the confidence, and then I, you have, the, you know the way to do it, and you can lead dream, dream group with family or friends, and um, that's how you become good at it by doing it again and again. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to say anything else? Uh, no. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Okay. Thank you, and I'm going to turn this off. I hope I haven't made a mistake with this. <laughs>